Hey guys, this is Psycho Cultures Anarchy here with a very, very special review for you. Daredevil Season 1, Part 1 review. That's right, I'm going to be doing this in like two, three, most likely four parts because I'm going to be discussing a lot of, uh, what's it called, the greatness that is Daredevil Season 1, one of Marvel's greatest creations, without a doubt, bar none. And the reason why is because there's a lot to talk about, obviously. There's a lot to talk about the plot. Well, the plot's actually not that hard, but more specifically... The humanity of it, the characters, the action, and just the overall just effect it has. Now, let's just get to the quick review, quick review of it. Daredevil, like in the namesake, is the is the story of Matt Murdock, a.k.a. Daredevil, played by Charlie Cox, who is an, a lawyer along with his best friend, Foggy Nelson. And they just started out in Hell's Kitchen as lawyers, and then they get help from Karen Page, blah, you know, who... We learn, we learn she could do some really dark things later on. And there's just so much that they are instantly thrown into. Like, right off the bat, you see the corruption of, New, of Hell's Kitchen's New York. You see the corruption of the system, the society, how people could easily be bribed. You see the corruption of the police, the force we're, we're meant to trust. You see just how deep this plot is to keep Hell's Kitchen under the control of these different mobs, the Russians, the Japanese, the Chinese, the Tri, all that shit. It is truly it is brilliant how they do it. And I honestly, going into it, I had faith that Marvel would put a lot of, pull it out of the bag because that, that's what they do. For the past seven years, they've been doing that, like eight years by now, have been doing that brilliantly. I just didn't expect it to be this good. No, I didn't expect it to be fucking amazing. This just blew my mind of how good it was because the moment I started watching it, I started watching it at 4 p.m. after I got home from college and I watched all 13 hours until 5 a.m. I never did that before. That's how good this show was to me because I just was so enthralled and enraptured and just like, just captured by the performance, the action, the setting, the tension, the aura, the show just had such a draw to it because it was so real. It felt real because the characters were humans. These characters could die. These characters had so many different flaws and so much inter internal conflict, external conflict. They had everything of a fantastic show, a great relatable villain, a villain you understand. Kingpin, God bless Vincent D'Onofrio for pulling off a fucking unbelievable performance. I hope to God he comes back soon. And then there's also Karen Page. I forgot the name of the actor. That's my fault. Actress. She was such a surprise. The same for Foggy Nelson, who was amazing. There was everybody from the from the nurse to the, the gang, to the freaking mobsters, to the triad ladies, everybody. They all did their parts beautifully. And Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio truly made this show unbelievably fucking incredible. And I, spoiler alert, I love just the, the fight scenes in the fucking the hallways, the fight scenes in the, what's it called, in the abandoned how warehouses and all that stuff. You see so many different things occur. And it just, it's, it's amazing that Marvel managed to pull this off. And the, and I love the references they give to it. We'll get to that in later videos. I love the connections it has with the rest of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I love just how they hint at future things like the hand and bullseye and so much more. I, honest to God, am thoroughly amazed with this show. This is just a quick review. I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm not spoiling anything until we go into the later videos, part two, part three, most likely. But, guys, I'm telling you here, I'm, see, I, uh, uh, See, that's what happens when I just get excited about something I love so much. I'm telling you guys this here and now. Daredevil is a show you guys have to watch. If you haven't seen Daredevil, I promise you, you will not walk away disappointed. This is something I fully endorse. You know, some people may not, some people may be like, uh, well, what's the appeal of it? Just try. Please, just watch. Just try watching it, man. It uh, It's unfucking believable I give the show a 10 out of 10, like, immediately after just the first episode. And after that, it just got better. Even though there was a few slow parts, you could say, it's only natural. No, Nothing is perfect, but in my eyes, in my eyes, in my eyes, this 
this show is just incredible. So, guys, there's really nothing else left to say. This show is fucking amazing. So this is part one. Part two will be coming soon, probably like... I don't know, by the end of the day, maybe not, because you know, t- while I'm recording this, it's March 6th, 17th. Tomorrow March is March 18th, and that's when Daredevil Season 2 comes out. And, oh, God, I can't wait, because it has Electra and Punisher and all that shit, so yay. But regardless, guys, this is Psychoculture's Anarchy here, signing off for Part 1. If you like, if don't forget to, huh, sorry, like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you see here and all that other shit. And so you're always psychotics out there. You stay crazy, motherfuckers. You stay crazy.